Hi guys, um, and welcome to a Germany revision lesson. So we have finished Hitler's foreign policy. That means we've done the seven units that are uh, make up Germany in transition, because that's the name of this particular course. All right, and what we're going to have a look at today is we're going to have a recap. It won't be a super in-depth one, but it will be a, a, a recap on the first two units that we did. Now, we did one of these in lockdown um, in the previous, you know, previous lockdown. Um, and so some of it you, you might have um, some notes. Some of you might not have notes, depending on how, how kind of... Um, kind of hard you worked in the first lockdown really and what you did so it, it is something so what I will do is well I will put up a resource on here which is a kind of overview um, like a knowledge organizer all right for these two units so at least you have something to look at and to help you you know with what you what knowledge you need to have so units one and two on Germany were the impact of World War One on Germany and secondly the recovery of Weimar under Stressman Okay, now some of this I said I did in class, some we did in lockdown. Um, either way, you need to be familiar with it. Okay, just a few quick reminders then, guys. This is a nice little summary that you might want to write down um, and maybe keep a revision guide now, start making revision resources. This might be useful for you to put in a folder, for example. Unit one was all about the impact of World War One, and the main thing we looked at were the challenges faced by this new German government, which was called the Weimar Republic. OK, this government had been set up at the end of World War One. It was a dem democracy. Germany had not been a democracy before. Germany had had um, been ruled by the Kaiser, who was not a dictator as such, but it was a one leader um, country. And there was a there was a Reichstag, there was a parliament, but there was sort of no voting in the same way as you would do in a democracy. And so the, the overview of Unit 1, the challenges faced by the Weimar Republic, are challenges concerning how the weaknesses of the Weimar government, the constitution, all right, the fact that the constitution, the new constitution that was drawn up, which was the way the Germany would be run, um, how it would be. And one of the examples of that, it would contain Article 48, as you know, which meant um, a president could take control of the country if there was an emergency. And you know that comes into play later on when Hitler comes on the scene. The other challenge faced by the Weimar Republic was political instability, and that we, is in the form of the Spartacist revolt and the Cap Putsch. And although we don't learn about it in this section, the Munich Putsch as well. The impact of the Versailles Treaty was another challenge faced by the Weimar Republic, as were the events in the Ruhr, the invasion of the French and Belgians, to the Ruhr in 1923, leading on to the crisis of hyperinflation. These are the key areas in Unit 1, um, impact of World War War, challenges faced by the Weimar Republic. The second unit, Recovery of the Weimar Republic, basi basically um, involves Stresemann and Stresemann's action. Stresemann was Chancellor, then he was Foreign Minister. Um, he was only Chancellor for a short time, he was Foreign Minister for longer. And it really revolves around what he did to solve the problems of the earlier time of the earlier unit. So for example, you know, solving hyperinflation with the Renton mark, for example, solving international um, issues with other countries, you know, such as friendship issues with other countries and making Germany more of a um, equal ally on an equal footing. Um, one of the big, one of the big, so that kind of brings in the um, Locarno Pact, for example, and being invited to join the League of Nations. But of course, one of the big features of this time period was the recovery from hyperinflation and the economy, the poor economy in Germany. And that centres around the Doors and the Young Plan, which obviously um, looked at giving the um, Germany more time to pay reparations and reducing the quantity of reparations which had come from the Treaty of Versailles plus taking in US investment, so borrowing money from the USA, which you know led to, the, um, led to issues as a result of the Wall Street crash by 1929. There were other social and political developments in this time period. This was roughly between 1924 and 1929 um, when this was all going on. Improvements in, in society, improvements in architecture and art, for example, sort of cultural um, developments, and also improvements in people's lives in general, especially for the role of women, for example. So this is a more of a positive age, the golden age, as you know it's called. All right, so that's the second unit. All right, guys, what I'd like you to do first of all, please, is you have a jam board, an individual jam board, and I would like you 
to put on it you have events and i would like you to try and match the event to the timeline order okay so for example um you know what what happened which of them happened in october 1929 which of them happened in 1928 you have little boxes on your jam board so can you go and access that now pause this for a moment and then come back and we'll have a look how you've done All right, so your work should look something like this. All right, it's obviously going from the end of World War I through to the um, example of the Spartacist Revolution, the Communist Revolution with Rosa, pa Rosa Luxemburg and Karl Liebknecht, the um, finalization of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919 and all the terms. Remember the phrase lamb, land, army, money, blame. All right, to help you remember what the terms were. And then obviously the discontent in March 1920 with the cat putsch, the right wing nationalist putsch that um, caused serious problems for the Weimar government. But not as big problems as occurred then in 1923 when the invasion of um, the Ruhr happened and this of course because of the government's actions, passive resistance and printing more money actually led to a seriously bad economic year of 1923 with um, massive hyperinflation and people lost a lot of their savings. This led on then, um, this kind of is where the first unit breaks and we move into the second unit and looking at the recovery. And that recovery is a lot to do with the work of Stresserman and you've got then the chain of, of kind of events, if you like, of problem solving, ranging from the Dawes plan to right up to the Young plan, to the Locarno Pact, to the kellogg briand Pact, to the League of Nations. So you've got a mix here of improving the economy and improving relations with other countries. Unfortunately, things come down to a crash in, literally a crash in end in October 1929 with the Wall Street crash. Okay, now then, now that you have got a, um, a bit of an idea of the um, event of these two particular time periods. I'd like you on your jam board with this image on to annotate as many ideas as you possibly can around the pictures. What are these pictures referring to? Think outside the box, guys. Use the knowledge organisers that I have put on Google Classroom to help you. I want you to add as many key post-its um, so that you can just completely show off your knowledge to me. All right, so pause now and um, get on with that. Right, guys, um, if you're not doing the live, this might not be um, a possible one for you, um, but we are going to do a quick Kahoot knowledge check next. And finally, we're going to review the work of Gustav Stresemann. I'd like you to read, please, what is on this screen. This is a really good summary of what um, he did um, in terms of some of the actions he did. There's a bit more on the document that's actually attached to your Google Classroom. All right, so I'd like you to read that first. And on your Google Classroom, I've shared with you a deconstruction of an exam question. It's a five marker, and it's using the source um, and your own knowledge, all right, to describe the work of Gustav Stressman. This is compulsory, guys. This is what gives me my your, your marks and things which will help towards teacher assessment. Okay, guys, hopefully that has worked for you, but obviously joining the live perhaps would be a bit more productive, but this is here if you are unable to. Okay, just get your work into me, send me evidence, please, and um, that's great. Thank you.